Grace Brown would most likely have led a satisfying, historically unremarkable life if she had not fallen in love with Chester Gillette. Grace was traveling to the Adirondacks with Chester in July 1908, convinced that he was going to ask her to marry him. On July the 11th, he invited her to go rowing on Big Moose Lake, and while she was happily enjoying the scenery, Chester hit over the head with a tennis racket and tossed her into the lake. Chester overturned the rowboat to make it seem like they'd both drowned, and then continued with his journey, unaware that a search had been launched for the missing couple who had been seen on the lake earlier that day. Grace's body was found at the bottom of the lake the next morning. Head trauma suggested she had been murdered, and police started looking for Chester. He was arrested near Inlet, New York, and during his trial he claimed that Grace had committed suicide. However, her love letters to him explained that Grace had been pregnant at the time of her death and that Chester had been reluctant to marry her and accept responsibility for the unborn child. He was found guilty of murder and died by electrocution on the 30th of March 1908.